All right, y'all, this is Tyree from Shaddai Sons. Look, we got to talk about the elephant in the room. Uh, we got to talk about this McNair thing, y'all. Listen, um, yes, he was a good football player, but, I mean, dude, it's kind of called a spade a spade. Listen, this is the Shaddai Sons television show. You know how we do. Now, now check this out. I'm, I'm, I'm going to read you what I just printed off the Internet. McNair's girlfriend felt life was falling apart. Just two months after Steve McNair taped a youth suicide prevention public service announcement, his lover shot and killed him as he slept and turned the gun on herself. Um, I have a picture on there, um, and forgive me if I pronounce the name wrong, looks like it's um, Kazemi, well people call her Jenny. Um, she had two car payments, her roommate was moving out, adding to her financial worry. That's what it says under the picture. Uh, one another paragraph said, police said that Jenny had uh, began dating uh, the married, the married McNair uh, five months ago, was facing a per personal financial crisis, though she told friends that former NFL quarterback, uh, that the former NFL quarterback bought her an SUV for her birthday several weeks ago. Jenny apparently was responsible for the payments, police said. McNair went stupid. Um, she, well, in that sense, uh, she was still making payments on her Kia and had been unsuccessfully trying to sell it. In addition, her roommate was about to move out the Nashville condo they shared, effectively doubling the rent for the David Buster's waitress. Listen, I said McNair went stupid. He went stupid in that sense. Listen, he's married, got a wife, he got kids, he got money. He ain't putting that thing in his name for him to get caught. He, he, he wanted his cake and eat it too. And maybe Jenny is called, get another job. I mean, at Big Day, you should, I mean, she's 20 years old. She's waitress at Dave and Buster's. She's still young. She ain't ready. She, she living her, on her, looking at her little black dude on a white horse. You know what I mean? Like a uh, thing that's her little prince and, and shining armor coming to rescue her. She's 20 years old. A waitress at Dave and Buster's. You know, anybody else would be like, I got to get another job. Well, I gotta cut this thing off. Or I'm gonna sell the SUV. She's still trying to pimp in two two vehicles, a USV and a Kia, uh, probably a Kia, um, little a car or whatever. But she's a waitress. Um, it's called work at Target or a Kmart or a sell the joke broker. Put on Craigslist, something. But apparently, just young in the mind. Listen, we gonna talk more about this on this this this, this should not sell television. Um, program is all about this dating thing, okay? Now you know you're not ready to date, all right? Many red flags shooting up here. Uh, one is if you're married, you ain't ready to date somebody else. That's, that's number one. But um, anyway, Jenny's friends and family said uh, the Iranian native was in love with McNair. She would tell them that McNair had promised to leave his wife and four sons to marry her. Wow, come on. But well, police said the relationship had soured recently. Jenny believed McNair was having an affair with another woman. Serious? Yeah, you're with another woman. Days before uh, the July 4th slang, Jimmy saw someone uh, she thought might be McNair's new girlfriend leaving his home and followed her. Could, could it have been her, his, uh, his wife? Could he have been leaving his home with his wife? Or maybe his wife's sister? Or maybe someone in his family? Oh my goodness. This is stupid. Um, but she never confronted the identified woman. She never confronted it from a distance. She thought she saw but never confronted the woman. Spineless. Spot. This is... It's ridiculous. America, America is crazy, y'all. Absolutely crazy. Our morals are gone. It's and McNair may have uh, stood Jenny up two weeks ago when Jenny flew to Las Vegas to meet him. Uh, Jenny's sister told Florida Times Union that Jenny uh, flew to Tennessee to Las Vegas for the rendezvous, but McNair never arrived. Maybe he was uh, playing daddy. Maybe trying to tuck his four sons in and wanted, and wanted to spend that night with his wife, maybe. 
Who knows? Who knows? Maybe baby, baby, baby's playing husband and stayed home that 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 night. Okay. Um. So um, that next double one said uh, another prayer right down said Jenny had a uh, had a uh, relationship with Norfleet for four years. This is Norfleet was her boyfriend before she moved to Tennessee. Uh, I believe it was down in Florida. Had a relationship with this guy named Norfleet. Um, so I had a relationship with him for four years. It apparently ended in January when uh, Jenny called 911 saying that Norfleet threw a phone at her. Uh, though no charges were filed against Norfleet. Right? So she had a she had a violent relationship in the past. Dude threw a telephone at her. You know, can you hear me now? Type, type situation going wrong. And threw a phone at her. Um, and, and, and get this. But friends and family said, now this is this is the kicker. Are you ready for this shablanger? Get listen to this. But friends and family say Jenny's relationship with Norfleet never completely ended. Norfleet's grandmother, Trudy Norfleet, told the Baltimore Sun that Norfleet and Jenny continued to see each other even as Jenny was dating McNair. Take a water break on that one. We're back. What? So, so let me get this right. McNear, we, we, we're just going to draw it out for some of y'all that are probably slow. We got, uh, we'll, we'll do Jenny over here with a J. Okay. Jenny. Okay. We'll, we'll McNear's wife. We'll draw her over here with four sons. By the way, his wife's playing cool right now. She just, she, she, she's chill. I don't know what she's thinking. At first, I thought she did a man. And she was just real calm about it. But apparently, she's calm, cool, and collected. That's a woman. That's a force to be reckoned with. Uh, so we got McNear. We got Jenny. We got McNear's uh, wife and four sons. Then we got this dude called uh, Norfleet in the picture. All right? McNear, Jenny, Norfleet, the wife, sons. So, um, McNear meets, well, first of all, McNear is married to his wife. McNear meets Jenny at Dave and Buster's, okay? Before Jenny meets McNear, Jenny has a relationship with Norfleet, but then moves to Tennessee where McNear is, okay, with his wife and four sons, all right? So as McNear and Jenny are in this relationship, okay, uh, Jenny thinks that she sees McNear leaving the house with an identified woman, okay, could have been his wife if, if she's ever seen her before, okay? Um, so Jenny sees McNear. All right, um, Jenny flies out to see McNear, st stands her up. So Jenny thinks McNear is cheating on her, but actually he's really married. Okay, he, he he's married. He's married down here. All right. Um, Jenny thinks McNear is married. I mean, it's cheating on on her, but actually the whole time Jenny got to do serious. Crazy. America, I don't even know what to say anymore. The Bible says this. We will bring it back to the Word of God. The Bible says this. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. He's like the waves that toss him to and fro. America's full of double minded people. Sin will take you further than you really want to go, people. I'm out.